This is going to be a quick demonstration video on the, the differences between having the impeller modification and not doing it. If you haven't watched how to modify your snowblower impeller um, in my other video, you know, this is so it doesn't clog or it actually makes it throw about twice as far. Some people three times as far, four times as far. Um, I'll put the link to the video right here. You know, click that link. It'll go to that video real fast. Watch that video and then you know what we're talking about. And now I'm going to take this snowblower out and I've been waiting this for the whole season for a good snowfall, a good heavy snowfall. We got about three inches. It's super, super wet. So it normally would just clog this machine up. This machine has had the, the rubber paddles for about six, seven years now. But I'm going to do it before. I'm going to show you with the paddles on and then I'm going to take the paddles off and we're going to show you what happens. Just get you in here quickly, show you that has rubber paddles just bolted to it and this is a Toro I know in the first video I say you know well I say Toros are hard to do and you can't use self tapping screws but you can see how the paddles have been holding up for the past um, six years or so with just two probably number eight or so sheet metal screws but that's that let's go out and try it Okay, I got the three paddles off, so let's give it a try without paddles. There you go, completely plugged up without paddles. It never plugs up when I have paddles on, and that's why you put them on. I did all of this over here um, with slush and water in it with the paddles, not a single clog. I received a ton of comments. You guys asked to see a before and after. What's the difference? So hopefully in the clip you just barely saw, you saw that this threw about twice as far. I used this be, you know, for about five minutes just to warm it up before I did the, the, uh, the video with the paddles on. Didn't clog a single time. I was going through the gutter with water, everything. Not a single clog. Working amazing. I did the video. Um, threw almost to the other. Actually was hitting the other sidewalk a little bit. Um, I was on the edge of the one side of the street, hitting the sidewalk on the other. Removed the paddles, threw about half the distance. I was throwing on average about halfway through the street, um, and then within or under a minute of using it, clogged up. And after I got off with you guys, I did it again, clogged right up again, clogged right up again. Horrible. So this will work for any two-stage machine. I have never seen a two-stage machine that this one work on. The idea is it just takes up that gap in the impeller housing and makes it an efficient impeller. Any impeller design will be completely efficient. The more the tighter that gap is, the more efficient it is. Um, did it with my wood chipper years ago. I have a video here on YouTube. Um, and now my wood chipper never clogs with wood chips. It's pretty much kind of the same idea, but it never clogs with wood chips anymore. Throws twice, three times as far. It's amazing. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys try this out. Makes a huge difference. Trust me, huge difference. Um, don't forget to leave me a comment below if this has helped you out, um, what you think about it. Give me a thumbs up if it has. It helps me out. Thanks, guys. And if you haven't subscribed, see you soon. Bye.